Document Capture Pro lets you perform simple scanning tasks, manage scan jobs, and organize documents with your Epson scanner. Each episode of this video series provides insights into the features of your software. This video covers basic scanning. If your Document Capture Pro window looks like this, you are in Standard View. Click the Switch to Simple View button in the upper right. In Simple View, you see a Scan to PDF button, plus buttons representing any other jobs you have created. Load your pages in the scanner, then click the Scan to PDF button to start the scan job. When scanning is complete, your PDF appears in the Documents folder. To scan with more control or send images to other destinations, click the arrow to open the Scan and menu. The Scan and menu features destination buttons you can use to send scanned pages to folders, email, FTP servers, Epson printers, and cloud services such as SharePoint, Evernote, and Google Drive. Load your pages in the scanner, then click Scan Settings to customize your scan. In the Settings window, you can select Single or Double-Sided Scanning, Size, Image Type, Rotation, and Resolution, and turn on functions like Text Enhancement or Skew Correction. When you've finished selecting Settings, click OK. To save your scanned pages to a folder, click the Save button. File names are created automatically. You can change a file name by clicking File Name Settings. File names can include several elements, including prefixes, scanned barcode numbers, or scanned characters. You can also append date and timestamps, or page counts. You can also enter a custom file name by highlighting and replacing the existing one. Choose your file type from the drop-down menu. There are several options, including JPEG and PDF. The Save In field shows the folder where the scanned pages will be saved. To choose another folder, click Browse. When you've finished selecting settings, click OK. For more information on using Document Capture Pro, watch the other videos listed here. You can also see the software's help menu or visit epson.com support for documentation, FAQs, or to contact Epson support.